Representative Andrew Barkas here with another video update underneath the virtual dome here, talking about budgets and talking about taxes. Oh my gosh, it seems to be the thing that everybody wants to talk about, especially my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, because like I said in the previous video, 11 bills, 11 bills increasing taxes during a crisis, the COVID crisis, one of the worst economic crises our state has seen. And we're barely even coming out of that. We're in phase two, kind of still wait on phase three. I've talked about that before, but you know what? We didn't just sit by in the House Republicans uh, caucus to think about what we could do, and what we should do. We did it. We actually put forth last week, our colleagues uh, led by uh, uh, the ranking on appropriations representative Drew Stokesbury, we actually put forth a budget this year. And we wrote a budget and showed exactly what could be done if we were in charge and what we would do for the people of the state of Washington to protect vital services and get this, not raise taxes. We don't need to raise taxes right now. We, we've shown again, we have a sustained income increase in our state coffers coming in even during the COVID crisis, but yet all these other taxes are being proposed, capital gains, et cetera. Our budget does just exactly the opposite. It protects valuable services while not raising taxes. We use the budget stabilization account, our rainy day fund, and we draw that down quite a bit, but then we build it back up again in the next biennium, which is exactly what that emergency fund is for. We also look at reallocating savings that we find throughout the budget. And yes, you can find savings in the budget. It's amazing once you start doing that work. And my colleagues have done that work and have found almost $6 billion in savings that can be passed on to you, the people of the state of Washington. Like funding the working tax credit, something we've been talking about for over 10 years. Funding the working tax credit, what a concept. B&O relief for small businesses, education stipends for those who are still suffering, trying to get back to school, parents who are dealing with daycare. Daycare, funding daycare, making sure our childcare system is propped up. So many different things that we propose, and I encourage you to go to our website and check out this proposal. It is real solutions. And here's the other thing. Here we are at the midpoint of the session, and we've got a budget. We literally have a budget that could be debated and could be passed off the floor and through the process and be done. We don't need to wait until the end of session to pass a budget. That's what always kind of confused me since I've been in the legislature. Why do we do it at the end? Why don't we do it at the beginning? Well, part of it's all the taxes and policies and things that they want to put in there. But the thing about it is, we don't need to do that. You know, we've been calling for months and months, even before we got into the session this year, to come back in a special session to deal with COVID, to deal with the budget, to deal with the things that of immediate need. And we should have done that. But here we are, we're in the session, we're past policy cutoff, we're ready to do this. So we should be doing this right now. This is what should be debated on the floor right now is a budget. We should get past all this and see where the rest of the stuff falls out, especially if we can't be there in person, which I've talked about in other videos, which I truly think we should be in order to do the proper debate for the people of the state of Washington. So anyway, listen, go to my website, go to the House Republicans, check out this proposal, this real solution, this budget. I think you'll be impressed with the work that's been done and you'll be impressed. And it will also draw a great contrast to what we're going to see here unveiled in the next you know, 30, 40 days as we roll through session of all these tax increases and a budget that I don't think either that you and I would, would agree is good for the state of Washington. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, a little bit of update. I'll do some more in the future to keep you posted on what's going on. But thanks again for watching. It's an honor and privilege to serve the people of the state of Washington and the second district. We'll talk to you again soon.